Today I am reviewing the HP Elite Book 850G5. This is a business class laptop uh, with impressive specs and uh, great for the traveler, the business traveler too, uh, and has a business class uh, features. It, it has uh, a 15.6 inch screen with with a trackpad. Uh, a unique, I'd say unique looking trackpad with two buttons on this side instead of the normal bottom facing uh, buttons. Um, as a webcam with a cover so you can for privacy issues you can cover the uh, webcam so on the top it's metallic and the rest is plastic so let's have a look at the ports on the left hand side is the Kensington lock, the fan grill, USB type 3, and an SC card port. SC card port on this side. Front nothing just some LED indicators on the right you think this is an SD card but it's a SIM card slot um, headphone jack another USB uh, USB 3.0 HDMI Ethernet jack and a proprietary HP docking port. This is USB Type C, and uh, interestingly, it's a Thunderbolt 3 port and the power barrel jack. No ports on this side, on the rear, with the Elite Book logo. At the bottom is the grill and rubber feet. It's quite easy to remove, just a few screws. Upgradability is great. It has you can upgrade the RAM and the NVMe drive. So this is the charger, it's quite a small charger, that's because of the low power consumption components, the CPU is a U class CPU, so the overall that's why uh, I wish all of them, all laptops could have this small charger, it's easily, can easily travel with it, but uh, some laptops need extra power so therefore all laptops can't be can't have a light and small charger like this one so as I said this is a very good looking laptop although most of it is uh, plastic the only top is uh, metallic it has quite good performance can't be opened actually one-handed you have to really get some effort the keyboard has a tracking point you can see here and I did mention the buttons placement uh, 
I don't know because it's quite weird um, the trackpad is precision Microsoft precision with Microsoft precision drivers um, on this side you can see the Bang & Olufsen speakers uh, it's great that they've placed it on top uh, the camera as I mentioned um, is HD quality and Windows Hello capable which is great so you can sign in just by facial recognition the other way you can it also has uh, a fingerprint reader so let's see the performance let's see how it boots up and how long it takes just to give you an idea can see how fast it uh, booted up um, this it's running Windows 10 Pro and uh, trackpad is quite smooth because of Windows precision drivers but most people seem to be using mice instead of even if the trackpad is uh, smooth as in this case so let's see the performance uh, let's go to task manager see that everything is loaded with hard disks you could see all this the disk still at probably 80 to 100 percent but this is already loaded all the applications the memory on this on this laptop is uh, 16 GB as you can see CPU the i7-8550U Let's get into the exact details with CPU-Z. Uh, on camera, it doesn't do justice to the screen quality. It's quite good. Everything is sharp. And everything looks good. Uh, so it's an i7-8550U processor with 16 gig DDR4 memory there are two uh, RAM sticks uh, slot one so all two slots have been have, have been occupied by an 8 GB memory module so it's DDR4 2400 from SK Hynix graphics is uh, handled by the Intel UHD graphics integrated 620 graphics so that means AAA games are out of question um, low end game CSGO maybe with low settings but as I said this is not a gaming machine this is more for the business crowd so let's have a look a bit at the performance browsing performance let's say So look at 
the sound quality The sound quality is quite good, uh, gets quite loud, although bass um, isn't that far, but overall, I'd say the sound quality is great. Now the it has a Samsung Samsung uh, SSD NVMe M.2 and uh, these are the crystal disk mark results quite impressive 3261 on read uh, is quite impressive uh, therefore the speeds in uh, uh, the, it, that's why the you have this good performance due to the edge gen cpu the 16 gig fast ddr4 memory and the fast samsung uh, nvme ssd So in terms of webcam quality, so this, as you can see, is the webcam quality. Uh, nothing too great, but on video calls it uh, gets the job done but uh, as i've seen in most laptops the webcam is usually not that great so in conclusion i'd recommend uh, this laptop because of its uh, good screen quality excellent performance uh, the and the good trackpad the ports and it's relatively light itself it weighs just 1.7 kilos and the small and uh, the small charger uh, doesn't add too much of weight to this uh, laptop the only thing i found personally and this is a personal opinion is the the keyboard travel distance and i found it a bit stiff um, travel distance and and it's slightly a bit stiff for my but I think anybody could get used to to this uh, it's not bad keyboard by any means and it's backlit so you can change the backlit intensity can see um, it's only one color yeah so so the other thing uh, great with this laptop is the thermals it doesn't get warm even while on uh, load uh, thermals are quite good even on idle if we 
just see have a look at the thermals and see on idle it's at CPU is at 31 32 degrees Celsius on load it can it just speaks to 50 53 degrees Celsius so, and uh, the the base just gets slightly warm the upper deck uh, hardly feel any heat and the fans do slightly but uh, slightly start revving up at that uh, temperature but you can hardly hear the fans it's quiet most of the time in conclusion this is a great laptop for business uh, use uh, with all these ports especially like the docking port and the Thunderbolt uh, 3 uh, ports and the USB type C so thank you for watching uh, till next time uh, please subscribe to the channel um, and all subscriptions and comments and likes uh, help my channel to grow so kindly share like and subscribe thank you in case of any questions uh, please comment I will answer all comments thank you